in this free CAD tutorial we'll be looking at the text options we'll be extruding a text on a 3d object and also creating a sunken text on a 3d object the text tools can be found in the draft workbench this is the tool to add the text the global xyz coordinates denote where we want the text to start we click the center for now and in the string you enter the text that you want shown once you do that press enter we'll give a height of 3 mm the height here is not the uh, the 3d height of the text this is more like a font size you can keep the tracking as zero the full part of the font file denotes the folder you have to go to the folder where the fonts are stored on your system alternatively you can download your fonts and keep it in a custom folder and navigate to that folder i'll choose arial black and press open as soon as you do that you'll see the text appear now this is a 2d text if you take the isometric view you'll see that it is a flat 2d text to extrude it we go to the part workbench in the part workbench select shape string extrude we'll extrude by 2 mm press apply and close now we have a 3d extruded text we'll create a base plate on which the text sits for which we go to the part design sketch take the x y plane i'll draw a rough rectangle around it left click right click press close now we'll select the pad option and go over 2 mm padding you'll notice that the text and the surface is in line you can change the properties here you can expand the trees in the extrude and placement we'll move the text up by 1 mm which means we have a 1 m 2 mm height here and a 2 mm text when we move the text by 1 mm it will protrude from the surface so one apply now go to models now we have the extruded text and the rest of the text is sunken into the padded rectangle if we go to the wireframe mode you can see the rest of the text to get a sunken effect or to remove the text from the rectangle and create a depression we'll do a boolean operation we we'll go back to the access view so this is our first model complete with the extruded text on the 3d surface you can vary the height of the text as you like if you reduce the extrusion value here to say 1.5 the height of the text changes and you can change any of these values as you please the boolean operation can be found in the part workbench and right now the operation is inactive because 
we haven't selected more than one object. Now what we want here is we want to reduce the text object from the base plate. First we select the object that we want to keep. Then select the object that we want to remove and press boolean and this gives us our next model. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching.